Hey, what's up? Today we're going to talk about the divmod built-in function in Python 3. So divmod takes two numbers. Uh, we'll use 10 and 2 as our example and returns a pair of numbers of which the first is the quotient and the second is the remainder. So let's try this again with 3 as the second number. And the general idea with the quotient is it's the number of times that B goes into A. So in this case, 3 goes into 10 three times and has a remainder of 1. So that's what we'll expect to see. And say we did this with 4 as B. So 4 goes into 10 two times and has a remainder of 2. Or uh, let's say 10. Yes, you guessed correctly. 10 goes into 10 once and it has a remainder of 0. We did it with 11. That goes into 10 zero times and I'll have a remainder of 10. Now this classic example of 10 and 2, uh, there's another way to arrive at each one of these numbers. And I'll show you what that looks like. So for the quotient for that 5, we can use the double backslash. And for that 0, we can do modulo, which is a division symbol, 10 modulo 2 equals 0. So what if we ran another one? So our second example was 10 and 3. We could do 10 double slash 3, get that 3, and we can do 10 modulo 3 and get 1. This way of arriving at the quotient and the remainder is actually described explicitly in the docs. So let's take a look. So it says for integers, the result is the same as a backslash b, that'll be the quotient, and a modulo b, that is the remainder. Last thing I'll talk about here is assignment. So let's say a equals div mod 10 and 2, that classic example. A is that tuple, that pair of numbers uh, we've become familiar with. But we can do something even cooler. We can do a double assignment. So we can basically break down the result of that div mod. And as you might have guessed, B will be 5 and C will be 0. So two ways to do assignment. One last thing worth mentioning for floating point numbers. Things do get a little bit more complicated, a little less clean, so just be aware of that, and maybe I'll go over it in a future video. If you'd like to see that, please leave a comment below. Thanks. Bye.